boys, today we're looking at regular polygons. Um, in order to determine if a shape is a regular polygon, it's got to do a few things. Before we start though, let's just write down the word. When we talk about polygons, whoa, why did that rub out? When we talk about polygons, we are referring to any full shape. So a shape where all the lines draw up. So technically a triangle is a polygon, technically a square is a polygon, and we go right up. We normally start to use the word polygons, though, when we refer to a shape that's got five or more sides. Because if a shape's got three sides, it's obviously we call it a triangle. If it's got four sides, it usually fits the category of either a square or a rectangle. So you normally see the word polygon pop up once we refer to shapes with four or more sides. Anyway, let's focus on what makes a polygon a regular polygon. A regular polygon has to be two things. It has to be equilateral equilateral is something I still struggle with spelling and it has to be equiangular another funny word that's popped up those two things mean does it have sides that are all equal and does it have angles that are all equal let's look at this polygon here to work out if it's equiangular and equilateral First tip is checking if it's equilateral. Are all the sides equal? Sometimes you can get tricked into looking and going, yeah, they all look equal. Sometimes they're off for a little bit. So you need a trusty ruler, and I'm just going to measure it on the screen. As I measure, I can see that mm, these sides, I'm just going to go down the bottom now, all of these sides are all four centimeters. So tick, this polygon is equilateral. The second step is figuring out, are they equilangular? And if you remember the, the trick that we did in class for checking angles, life will be a lot easier. But the easiest way to check it is just to draw where the two lines meet and just compare the size. Obviously, we can be more technical and measure them, but on a shape like this, we can clearly see, you know what? All of those angles are exactly the same. This shape is a regular polygon. And if I was doing my work and Miss Lee walked behind me right now and said, how do you know that's a regular polygon? I would be able to say, well, I measured all the sides, they're all equilateral, and I checked all the angles, and they're all equilangular. A regular polygon has angles and sides that are all equal. You do get some irregular ones, and I just want to give you a quick look as to the, oh, hello, as to what you need to do in order to avoid being too tripped up. So sometimes you get ones that look like this. Apologies for all the mad rubbing out. Sometimes you get ones that look like this, where it might go. And let's pretend that joins there. You get kind of like a star shape, and if I drew this perfectly, you can actually make it so all the sides are the same length, so let's say they're all six centimetres. But when you look at the angles, you can see, down here we've got some really skinny angles, but over here where the two lines join, it's a really wide angle, even up there. So you've got some skinny, some wide, they're not all equal, that means this shape is not equilangular, so it's not a regular polygon. I think they're called irregular polygons, but I'm not sure if that term's used all the time. I think it's just, you know what, some polygons are regular, and then the others we just refer to them as polygons. That's polygons. Again, it's that kind of shape stuff that you just have to remember the definition for. Hope everyone's done pretty well. Good luck in the stepping stones.